No, no, right? This is why it's important to have a meteorologist you trust. Imagine folks 100 years ago thinking, okay, it's a warm day today, probably be like that for the rest of the week. <laughs> Big changes come as early as the overnight hours tonight, and today was such a treat. 67 degrees. We were flirting with 70 in some spots today. It was so comfortable. The air didn't have that bite to it, in part because of the direction of the wind. The wind was out of the south today. That's always a milder, more pleasant breeze. 67 is going to be in the distance way, way, way big time as we head towards this weekend. Another Arctic cold front. So when we look at these cold fronts, we do look at where they originated. So this is from the Arctic. This is the coldest air we can get, and it is plowing its way across the central part of the country. Clouds are already starting to thicken for areas west, and we had a couple showers dance across the land between lakes. No big deal there. The heaviest rain will be along and just ahead of the front, and behind it as that cold air catches up, a massive winter storm looks to impact St. Louis, all of Illinois and northern portions of Arkansas. We are on the edge of this. I'm talking by the hair of our chinny chin chin on the edge of what is going to be a significantly impactful storm for our neighbors to the north and northwest. That being said, a handful of our counties are already included in some headlines because of some wintry impacts. Winter storm watch in effect for Henry and Carroll County. That starts tomorrow night, not tonight. Starts tomorrow night, goes through Thursday night. Winter storm warning. Uh, for our western Kentucky counties, and that's because they're looking at more significant impacts of both sleet, freezing rain, and snow. The bigger story for us is rain. So rain arrives after midnight tonight, a good soaking rain. The heaviest will fall in the morning and early afternoon hours, about an inch is expected on Wednesday. Then there will be a little bit of a lull in the action late Wednesday night. It's not going to be bone dry, but we'll have a couple dry pockets. Another push of heavy rain comes in Thursday. We're looking at a good two inches of rain to fall just on Thursday, and it's late Thursday night that that cold air is going to start to catch up to the moisture, and we'll start to see a transition first for our northwest counties, and then eventually that'll start to sweep across. But as is usual for us, it's always a race between the cold air and the moisture. Most of us are going to see rain from this. Some of us will experience some sleep pellets, a little bit of patchy freezing rain, primarily for folks to the north and west. So it's complicated with the messaging when we get storm systems that impact some people in a really significant wintry way, but they impact other parts of the viewing area with just rain. This is another one of those setups. If you are northwest of Nashville, this will have greater wintry impacts to you. The further south you go and the further east you go, this is not a winter weather maker for you. Not to say that it's not going to get cold. We were in the upper 60s today, tomorrow upper 50s. Your afternoon temperatures on Thursday just mid 40s and then boom, we crashed down big time. Waking up in the 20s Friday morning. So as far as concerns for icing or slick spots on Friday, there are two things that we've got to keep a close eye on. One, it's a potential for that freezing rain, especially for areas northwest. A reminder, freezing rain is just that. It's rain that freezes on contact and creates a glaze of ice. The second concern is with all this rain around, once temperatures tumble down into the 20s, Vicki, we could see some black ice form early Friday morning as well. So something that we're going to keep a really close eye on as we get closer to it.